right, folks, welcome to another Positive Aging Community discussion. And I'm really looking forward to our conversation today on some really innovative uh, technology. Um, before we do that, though, I've got a little bit of housekeeping, especially for anybody that may be attending one of our discussions for the first time. The first thing to, to know is these discussions, along with the Positive Aging Sourcebook, are provided free of charge thanks to the support of our Positive Aging Community Champions. These are organizations that support uh, housing, aging in place, and other resources that are out there. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, on the topic today of safe and accessible homes, we've got several mid-Atlantic local resources that can help you with solutions if uh, this is something that you're you're looking at. Um, handy pro strategies for independent living, live in place, New Hampshire medical supply, but we've got hundreds of others and they're easy to connect with. If you just go to proaging.com, got a nice search engine there at the top, but honestly, honestly, if you're looking for something, just send me an email and I will uh, connect you with a resource. The other thing you can order is a source book free of charge. Uh, up there on the upper left-hand side. And real important for today's discussion, today's discussion is recorded along with over 350 other discussions. We've got the recordings, podcasts, those are all available on the left-hand side of the screen. And then on the right-hand side of your screen, you'll see our upcoming discussions. And what we've got coming up uh, next week, believe it or not, we have a discussion every single day of the week next week. Uh, kicking it off with memory and movement disorders. The one that I'm really charged up about is on Tuesday. It's a new approach to home sharing. Uh, this uh, organization, Perch Homes, has created an innovative and affordable way for women age 55 plus to um, home share and live together in uh, a very organized manner. So that'll be a good one. And we, we've got a bunch of uh, good ones next week, but just go to proaging.com and check out our calendar there and you can uh, join in on those. Our discussion today is going to be on height adjustable features, which I'm really charged up about. But before we dive into that discussion with Eve, who you see on the screen here, I want to uh, give my good friend, Dr. Amy Schiffman, some time to talk about a um, really cool project that she's working on uh, called Aging Here. But uh, Amy, uh, you've got a really interesting background. Tell, each, tell folks a little bit about yourself and then we can learn a little bit more about Aging Here. Sure. So um, first of all, Steve, always amazing to uh, be uh, somebody who is close to you. And um, thank you for giving me some airtime here. Um, uh, I met Steve Gurney about 15 years ago um, when I first started a house calls practice. And there may be some folks on this call that remember me when I had a, a home-based primary care program uh, in the DC metro area. Um, at the moment, I am involved with a new project called Aging Here, and this is a project that I am, I have a wonderful business partner whose name is Alex Moseni. He is also an ER doctor by training, and we have identified that the aging in, the aging in place community is varied and far-reaching. And as a provider, as a doctor that used to work in this business, I felt like my Rolodex just went far and wide. And I am ready to open up that Rolodex. And one of the ways that I'm going to do that is by opening this up to everybody who's on this call. Um, the website is called agingheer.com. And we have started a Slack group. Now, Slack is not always familiar to everybody. For people who may work in private industry, it is essentially a texting group. And it's some people have thought of it as almost the new Facebook in many ways. But it is a way of communicating. And we have channels and ways for people to connect. And we have brought together people who are both providers, 
assisted living owners and operators, people in the startup space who are interested in saying, hey, listen, is there somebody that runs a business that would be interested in like seeing if some of your clients might be interested in a new technology that I'm offering? There's people in private duty. And I think for anybody who's either experienced in this industry or people who are, I would say, senior serving professional curious can certainly go to the website aginghere.com, uh, sign up, tell us what kind of sort of person you are, why you're coming to us, and um, we will bring you right into the group and give you an opportunity to dialogue and be part of our community as we grow. Yeah, and you all saw, I had the website up there. and I Thank you. Signed, I signed up while Great. she was talking about it. So Amazing. That so that means, was really hard, wasn't it, Steve? I, I noticed it yeah. like almost happened like this. I didn't even notice yeah. it. <laughs> exactly. That was great. Well, thank you. Amy, I'm really charged up uh, and I'm part of that uh, that group, too. It's uh, thank you. There's some really good conversations going on there. So uh, uh, look forward to seeing you on there. And um, I, I know we were having a very uh, interesting conversation with Eve before we um, before we open this up. So I think, you know, this is going to be a good conversation that we're Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's going to be great. And um, right. one quick shout out to how quickly we know that people are signing up. I already saw a bunch of signups actually while you were doing that. So I, I will connect immediately to you guys. And I really, Eve, I'm so excited about what you're going to talk about because I already had a little bit of a, <laughs> a preview and it was great. So thank okay. you so much, Steve, for the opportunity. I love it. All right, Amy, this is, this is awesome. And, and Eve, uh, so, so folks, here's the deal. Um, I've been doing this for 33 years. Uh, my, and, and I've been hearing universal design experts talk and, and talk about options and customizations and things of this nature. And one of the things I remember years ago was uh, one of these experts, um, uh, one of these experts said to me, um, you know, uh, you can put um, kitchen cabinets on a track so that they can be, slide down and uh, be accessible to somebody in a wheelchair. And, um, you know, I, I have been talking about this for years, but I never actually saw one. I didn't know who was, you know, if, if there was a manufacturer doing this. And I was on LinkedIn uh, earlier this year, and uh, Eve and I aren't connected, but someone had forwarded one of the videos that you posted, and I just saw this beautiful, beautifully designed height adjustable features. And I reached out and um, thank you, Eve, for coming on. Folks, uh, Eve is in Canada. Where are you at in Canada? Close to Toronto, just in Burlington. Near T Toronto. So, um, well, tell, we're going to dive in. We and, and folks, don't worry. We've got some awesome videos and photos that we can share that are going to describe what this is all about. But, uh, but before we dive into that, Eve, you want to Give us a little bit of your background and what led you to specializing in this area. Yeah, we we, we need a couple more hours for that. But well, let's make it quick because I know. Yeah, so basically my background is automation, like robotics, hard automation and so on. And I'm really a, a welding engineer and, you know, the automotive pipelines and, and, and basically, you know, round peg, square hole, we got to make it work. So we... And then a buddy of mine asked me to help with his business, uh, making TV lifts. And he was and then I saw this. I'm like, Jerry, what did you do here? He says, this is a cabinet that comes down for a lady that had spina bifida. I'm like, wow, this is cool. I mean, your, your TVs and so on, that's a want, but this is a need. So we, we made everything. We made the cabinet. We made our own controls everything from scratch Cust custom fabrication custom the whole thing was custom any any size anything and then you know things uh then covid hit but is things slowed down but we made everything from scratch and then uh granberg got hold of me and said you know what we really like what you're doing there so why don't you you, you rep us so not only we, we became a dealer they not only they have cabinets but they also had countertops islands and wardrobes and what they've done is like I was telling you before uh, we went on air here that uh, when you move something, 
it's imperative that it has to be safe. Like safety is paramount. So what Granberg has done, they perfected the safety feature of this. So if it hits someone, uh, a hand, a leg, if it hits, hits a cup, anything that's in the way of the trajectory, it will stop and avoid any injuries. Uh, our uh, countertops are all UL certified and so is the island and the cabinet, the power source is all UL uh, CSA uh, certified. So it, it's extremely important that the safety is basically is you know perfect, which they have done. And it's really a plug and play. And they've sent this all over the world. They've been at it for 60 years, like over 10,000 kitchens so far. So okay. they, 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 you know, they got this pretty down, down path. That's for sure. Excellent. And uh, Mary, Mary says, am I the only one who finds Eve's audio a little hard to hear? Mary, um, I'm wondering if it, it could also be his, uh, he's got a little <laughs> Canadian accent, um, <laughs> but I, I can hear you. I can hear you pretty well, but just yeah. it, it, articulate as, as okay. well as you can. And hopefully that's, that's good. So now, um, you mentioned Granberg. Okay, so you, your background, you were doing custom fabrications and Granberg got wind of this. I believe this is a European company, but uh, if you folks, you can see this is the Granberg USA website and these we're going to be going into some of this, but this is a, this is a manufacturer that makes these products that we're going to be talking about t today. Is, is that a good description, um, Eve? That's correct. So Granberg is the people that are, we're getting the products from Granberg, Sweden, and we drop ship anywhere in North America. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Well, I say we let's jump in to doing some demos and you've given me some, some web pages that, uh, and videos that we can, can share. What would you like me to jump on first? Uh, let's jump on the cabinets. Okay, so let me pull this up here, and then you can just lead me through these various pages. But I've got, I've got, and I'll share all these links with everybody so that you could go and and look at these. But um, okay, so um, you tell me, I'll, I'll, I'll you you tell me where to go. I'll drive, Eve. Okay, so this is called the, the Verdi. So this is a vertical motion, so straight up and down. And if you go down a little bit towards the photos at the bottom, uh, yeah, right there. So yeah, right there. So you can see you they can be operated with the doors open or the doors closed. It really doesn't matter uh, because it's a straight vertical motion. There's a safety tray at the bottom and a safety tray on top. So the gray tray is on top. If you put a, a tall bottle or whatever that shouldn't be there, yep, right there, it will touch that safety tray on the top and it will stop the motion so it doesn't break anything. And the same thing underneath, if you go down a few photos, see on the left there, you see a wine glass. So if it comes down and it touches wine glass, glass, whatever's underneath, it will stop and then retract just a little bit for maybe like a second. And then it will, uh, you know, release the part and then you can take it out. So if you can just activate this video, you'll see that you hit the little, yep, right there. So the 831 is a little bit deeper than the 830. So that's what we recommend. The shelf is a little bit bigger so you can fit your plate. So it comes down straight up and down motion. And that is a very easy way to retrofit uh, cabinets. Okay, uh, so, so these, for example, the, the, you're not selling the cabinets, you're selling these mechanisms. So correct. this could be this could be the existing home design where you, the you, you the contractor pulls out all the shelving and does this installation. Correct. So you just pull down. You have to rip out the bottom cabinet, mm -hmm. and you know you just remove the other shelves. You need 120 volts uh, right on top, uh, right at the top. If you look at the installation instructions, if you hit download. 
all the installation instructions are there and it shows you exactly where to put 120 volts. Okay. And it's like five to 10 amps. So you can operate two cabinets uh, from one outlet. Uh, we did a job where this lady wanted four cabinets and we only need to put two outlets. So it saves, you know, it does save some, some money. Mm -hmm. And most of the time people don't draw, uh, they, they don't activate two at the same time. So, uh, but, but anyways, it's just a way to cut costs a little bit, but definitely the only thing you have to do is once you take the cabinet, like I, I was explaining a little bit before we started, uh, you just have to hold up the cabinet, the, the cabinet fits right into it. So one holds and the other one, we just put six screws into the back of the cabinet onto the existing one. And, and that's about it. You plug it in, it's all plug and play and it's a fairly quick retrofit. Wow. Well, uh, I, and one of, one of my friends, Louis Tenenbaum is on the call and he was just like you. He did some of these installations in early 2000, 100% oh. fabrication, trying to figure out how to make everything uh, move. So going from sort of the the custom fabrication to the installation, I imagine this, I, I guess you didn't get to use the creative side so much, uh, but uh, probably your confidence on the safety and the, uh, yeah. the ability is, is heightened. Yeah, 100%, 100%, because I mean, after 10,000, know, 10,000 kitchens, they, they, they've they got this perfected. So it, it's a very simple uh, plug and play. You don't, you know, you don't need to be an electronic expert to do any of this. It's all done for you. And it, it's a very simple, uh, simple retrofit. Cool. So. And then um, Richard has a question. Are, are you a Granberg dealer? Um, yeah. Okay. And the, um, and Granberg is a Swedish company, correct? Uh, right. it, that, uh, and there's not necessarily, the, how long have they been in the States? They, you know, they've had product for a very long time. Like the Hilton in Lake Tahoe's had products there for like 10 years, I think they said. They're redoing the, two, the, the hotel so that we were talking about supplying more. There's a lady in California, I can't remember the lady's name, but anyways, she, there was a, a major storm and she blew her uh, power sources and she said she's had them for 15 years. So Grandberg's been around in, in, in different phases, I guess. And I think for a little bit there, they needed the UL certification. So until they got that, they kind of backed off a little bit or may, maybe it was COVID, I'm not sure. Okay. But how they set up, the USA, uh, the USA website, uh, so it's all imperial, and all the products that they have in Sweden are not on the USA website. They're just putting more and more, but they're very, very good. If someone has a bigger cabinet, like I think on on the Verdi, it says there's twenty or the Diego twenty four inch and thirty six inches. If you have something in between, we have gotten the ones from sweden like they go in from 36 centimeters to 96 centimeters into 10 centimeter increments so they're very good at working with the customer we do a lot of work with the contractors down in, you know are all over the place california dakota uh florida so it sounds good good yeah all yeah. right let's um let's jump into um uh, what what do you want me to show off next you know what just anything and then you know whatever you show well, me well you know what i want to do because i pulled up the granberg us website and yeah. i've been sitting here watching this amazing video playing I i'm wondering this might be a great thing for you to narrate here so here we've got the verdi okay. yeah correct and then you got the home yeah 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 that's the verdi that we just looked at straight up and down motion then let's see what are they going to show us next. So this is the Diego. Oh, can you stop this? Just just uh, no. Second. This is just this is just going. Let let's oh, okay let's, okay. Let's so this is picture. the Diego. Yeah. This is a Diego, which you can bring down your microwave. That is awesome on diagonal motion. 
Then you have the base lift here. So the base lift, this is our most common one, 6,300, goes up and down about 11, point, uh, 11 and three quarter inches with the safety strip underneath. And then we have corner units. This is on a 45 degree angle. So you can have your sink right in the middle as well, 11 inches up and down with the safety strip. We have, you can notice there's drawers and everything in there. You can have sliding drawers. This is a 90 degree uh, cooktop on the top. You can have a cooktop and then the sink, the sink or accessible sink. They're like 4.7 inches and the plumbing is in the back of the sink. More yeah, I can see it. So you don't hit. And this is really cool. This even has a safety on it. If oh it touches God. you, it will stop. Like th that's a, an amazing piece of technology. It's there is some manual ones, but if you which are really good, but if you need an electronic one, there's two different types. One goes down like 30 some inches, and the other one 20 some inches, depending where you want to put them. So the wardrobes are also something that is is extremely well engineered. I find very awesome product. Okay, uh, I think let's see. Oh no, did we? Okay, we didn't see yeah. this. So this is this is a side lift. So this one here has a lifting capacity of eight hundred and eighty pounds. Uh, one of the things we do in North America, we have a lot of. Uh, granite countertop or stone type, which is extremely heavy. So some people will use a side, this is a side lift. It's, it's screwed right into the floor and it can lift up to 830, uh, 880 uh, pounds. Now check this out, this is cool. Yeah, it has a safety tray. So if you have a ball, small pet, kids, everything stops. So no one gets hurt. So that's, uh, it, it, it's paramount, safety is paramount. So this one here, you can take those cabinets out. It also has a safety strip. So, you know, you can take all of these cabinets out in case you get into, you know, an accident, a wheelchair, whatever. And then if you sell the home, you can put all the cabinets back in. Like, you know, like there's- Pretty cool. Yeah, same, same thing applies for the island. It's up and down. You can see the big, the big buttons for dexterity, dexterity issues. They uh, have the little ones as well, which is a little bit of a cleaner look for some people. And on this side, you have sliding drawers, and this can go up to ninety-four inches uh, wide. Like this is very popular for community centers, hospital, training kitchens, and, and so on. So. Uh, some people have put them back to back so that there's even a, a bigger island kind of okay. thing. Well, that was the uh, that yeah. was a yeah. really beautiful presentation there and gives us an idea of all the offerings. And I love the I, I love the um, the bedroom and the closet functionality. I think this is really, truly universal design because you don't need to be in a wheelchair uh, to appreciate the fact that this makes getting to things easier and more customized. And I loved when you brought up the community center and adjusting the countertop. I mean, just think about how important it would be from an inclusiveness perspective to have these varying heights in shared spaces for people who are different heights for somebody that's in a wheelchair, for children. Um, I mean, think about for parents out there, all those years that we were lifting our kids up so that they could wash their hands. Um, imagine that now they just press a button and they wash their own hands, uh, How you know, promoting independence. Um, let's see, I got a, a question here. It says, this is so awesome and creative. My renovation of a three generation handicap friendly ADA first floor only rental home. I plan to have lower kitchen cabinets, easily sliding drawers on tracks, not as regular shelves and upper cabinets as regular types with shelves. I plan to have some kitchen counter at the lower ADA height and part of the counter standard height. Plan to only have cabinet doors in the front of the kitchen sink so wheelchaired person could go under the sink to do their own dishes. 
higher bottoms, lower cabinets uh, for the, the feet of the wheelchair person to go under. Um, uh, this is cool that number one, that you're doing this and I'll, I'll cut and paste that in to chat in case anybody wants to, um, uh, I didn't do the greatest job of, of reading that, but uh, Eve, as, as John is talking about this remodel that he's doing, you could see where some of his plans could strategically just maybe have one or two Grandberg products in it. You don't need to do a whole house, uh, a whole kitchen with Grandberg, correct? That, that's right. We can do just bits and pieces. And this, like, I don't know if this guy's in Staten Island. We've been talking to someone in Staten Island, exactly the same thing here. So uh, that's pretty funny. But uh, I know him. He's in uh, he's in Virginia. OK, but but definitely you don't need to, to redo all the cabinets like we talked about. It's just like one cabinet. And if you look at some of the videos, like the YouTube videos for Grandberg and so on, like it doesn't have to be the whole kitchen counter as well. We're doing a kitchen that's 18 feet wide, 18 by 18. So only 60 inches will be elevating with a cooktop and then a uh, sink, accessible sink. And the rest of the kitchen is for uh, able bodies, right? So yeah, you can just take a small piece where the sink is, have it accessible. And uh, one, uh, one thing I have to point out, there's a, a gentleman who's doing a renovation and he wanted doors in front so he can open the doors, his wheelchair underneath, and then this countertop goes up and down. A uh, bit of an issue with that is now you do not have a safety on the doors, right? You wanted to jimmy rig the safety onto our lift system. And it's it's now it's unsafe because there's no safety underneath the, the door to, to hit something, it'll bounce back. To just point that out. But yeah, for sure. Like he, he can yeah, just in uh, our counters go from 30 inches to 94 inches. You know, I want to share the video that we were looking at before we went on regarding safety. Um, because it never really dawned on me how important and that with with having uh, features like this, how important safety is. Like because, mm -hmm. like you said, a granite countertop that is coming down on somebody's knees, you know, eight, rated to eight hundred pounds, having that technology there. Let me let me play this one video here, and I've got other questions that we'll get to, but um, but I think. The, we can talk a little bit about the sensors and the safety uh, when we uh, look at this one. So let me get this one started here. Well, the young lady in the wheelchair. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's an excellent one. Okay, so we've got, here we've got the countertop. And as we'd mentioned, you could have cabinetry underneath that that could be removable if, if needed. Yeah, if if you have the side lift, because this lifting capacity for the, this base lift is only two hundred and twenty pounds. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so that's the side lift model. The side lift is sixty four hundred. You can have the cabinets underneath. Okay, so here's the 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 woman in the wheelchair. Yeah, and what you see is she's bringing down the cabinet. That's so the, she, Diego. Yeah. So that she could get uh, dishes out or or what have you. Correct. But then I think the um... so this here shows that it did hit the faucet and it stopped. Ah, okay, got it. So if you don't turn the faucet sideways, uh, then it will hit, hit and stop the motion. And so now we're seeing she's still got her finger on the button and but it's it stopping it. at her knees. Yeah, it just touch your legs and it stopped. There's a black strip. It's like your same concept as your garage door. Touches and it just stops. And then, man, I, I love this. The the concept that somebody can... Can you stop? ...utilize it? a cooktop. Um, can you just stop? In it? a home where people are various uh, different heights. And uh, I, I think, you, you know... The whole man, 
Would, simple hearing whoops, wouldn't it be cool to just uh, be able to sit there and uh, cook a meal at a stove and sit in a chair? Like, I mean, that to me is kind of a cool concept. Uh, so regardless of whether you're in a wheelchair or not. Okay, so um, let's see. Uh, really good question from Joan here. How can we be assured that replacement parts will be available? What happens if this company goes out of business? They've been around for 60 years. Uh, so but basically, like some of the stuff, actually, some of the stuff is pretty standard. It comes from a company out of Sweden. They do have a U.S. operation. Uh, the power source are, are basically, uh, I can't remember the name, but it's, some of the components are very, uh, very standard, right? Like third party components third that are party, powering like the, yeah, they're other just, types of lifts. Yeah. Uh, the, they're just micro switches you can get anywhere and so on. But uh, like I mentioned, the lady that blew the uh, power sources in California. So boom, we just ship them. We just, they just ship it over. Now, if the company goes bankrupt, um, oh, I, I can't remember the uh, actuator's name now. It'll come to me, but they have an operation. I think it's in Virginia somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I think, Joan, I would say uh, a company that's been doing something and, and also this innovative for 60 years, I think the the reason we don't see this uh, in the States is because the people that were doing it are doing custom fabrications. And um, and I now talk about that ULI certification no. because i think that's also the other reason why grandberg wasn't necessarily in in the states earlier yeah ul is underwriters laboratory so it's a, a third party lab that they test to all the specs like electrical specs uh, ansi specs so ul is recognized throughout the world as like the safety standard so there's certain procedures when you build a lift system, it has to pass certain tests. So UL is, you can, you know, you can hire another lab, but they have to go according to the UL certification. So it, it means it is approved if uh, we deal with a lot of businesses and uh, Hilton being one of them. And that is one of the big questions, is this UL uh, certified? which it is right so yeah. that that's that that's big because as you can see like some of this stuff if you're moving 880 pounds you've got per powerful motors on there as mm -hmm. well right so you, you can you can really if you don't know what you're doing like we talked about this gentleman who just made him without a safety uh some of this stuff can go at 400 pounds and you push 400 pounds in something it will hurt so it, and, it's really um, important yeah yeah. We got two very similar comments from Lewis and uh, Melissa Bressler, who are both uh, pioneers in the universal design and occupational therapy spaces. And Melissa says, I'm four foot nine, and there will be a day when I won't be able to use a step stool to, to get on the top of the, uh, you know, the kitchen cabinets. I have one handy in each room in each room of my home, but you could see where somebody like Melissa, an improvement like this, um, minimizes that step stool, which potentially causes a fall or an accident. And then Lewis has a similar statement. He says, my daughter is 410. She always uses the lower countertops in our kitchen. In particular, the lower counter helps anybody who to get leverage for rolling pie shells and kneading dough. And, and that's the cool thing is, is that I, I, I see these, this feature as a wonderful universal design feature, but just like having that extra, well, it's even better, you know, because there's function involved. Like you can see this oh, yeah. it's becoming a high-end feature for kitchens for, for cooks, you know, that want extra leverage when they're making one kind of dish, but now this can serve them and their family and their loved ones uh, through the lifespan much better than our static kitchen cabinets and kitchen counters. Um, 
100 100 percent right it's uh, most of the jobs that we do i would say probably 80 percent of the jobs is just people that can't reach mm -hmm. we just finish a job that this lady is just five one and yeah. and all the new homes like all the new developments nine foot ceilings they're not eight they're nine i'm six two i can't reach oh no i, I can't reach and, and the step stool my mom fell off the step stool so one of our motto is get rid of the step stool it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when you're going to fall off the step stool exactly and and you know i've seen it way too often and uh, it's, it's i think this month is anti i think it's anti-fall month or something but it's just yeah when i see that it's just please get rid of the step stool there is a solution and, and to mention as well uh this is uh an engineered solution so it, it is uh, there's a you know it is not cheap because of all the safety and so on so there's not a job that we approach without considering funding okay so if you so go to i i uh, uh, margie says it's fall prevention month this 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 month oh it is okay good yeah and um well I, i'm shocked that our audience members have not brought this up so i'm glad you opened the door on cost so yeah. let's talk a little bit about costs and about funding, because I think you are discovering some pretty creative solutions there as well. Yeah. So what we have found in, in the last six to eight months, most of our projects qualify. If you go on the IRS website, if you're in the States or if you're Canadian on a Canadian website, it's uh, in the States, it's benefits, tax benefits. Here it's tax credit, but it all means the same thing. So there's accessibility tax credit. There's caregiver tax credit or tax benefits. There's making the homes uh, safer benefits. There's seniors benefits. It's, it's pretty overwhelming the amount of funding that there is out there. And if you're a business, like we're doing a lot of work with independent living, community living, uh, emergency shelters. So there's not only government funding for low-income housing, independent housing, indig indigenous groups, but there's also private money like Home Depot. We're right now looking at 15 homes. It's all subsidized by Home Depot, Lowe's, banks, Costco. So uh foundations are, are really big into helping uh, the woman's shelter we're working with so we do not approach one project without trying to bring uh, we bring a funding company in and we match the people like like you know you take care of this and in hopes they get the money then they use us we don't take a cut whatever we just match the, the people either it's a b to b or b to c uh, because we start the cabinet starts at uh, 20 the probably the less expensive is $2,200 plus a button us plus an activation button which is 164 dollars uh, so that's basically your baseline and then shipping and brokerage so it's important to look at all the avenues to make this happen right because you know we're very very aware that some people want this but they, you know, they, they, they can't really uh, afford it, unfortunately. And now what the next step is trying to work with a company, even though it's a tax benefit, you got to wait at the end of the year to do your taxes. And some people can't wait. They can't take that hit. So we're looking at companies, a third party to carry the whole loan throughout. And when they get their, you know, their tax break or whatever, then they can pay uh, the company. So they... Oh. Financing is, is key, right? Eve, that's really refreshing to hear somebody with a high-end product you, that you admittedly, this is a high-end expensive product, but yeah. to at least, you know, get creative to try to make this something that can benefit people that want and can benefit from it. And so, um, so that, that's, that's great to hear. Now, you're in Canada and I, I, you obviously have Canadian customers that you're doing installations for and things like that. I'm assuming you're not coming down to South Carolina and doing the installations. You're just working with contractors to ensure that they're installing this the correct way and taking advantage of 
of tax credits and things of that nature, but am I wrong there? No, no, you're right. We we deal with we deal with everybody here. When we say we like when I say we do uh, you know a kitchen, it's also contractors. It's all independent contractors. So uh, I don't know if you saw my post. Uh, Jeff Sasker in uh, uh, he's in North Dakota did a great job. So we worked together, make sure that we had the right size of cabinets, we had the right size of lifts, and all the controls, all the safety, no pinch point. So you're right, we deal with anywhere in North America, anyone in North America, uh, you know, they send me the drawings, we both sit down, we take a look at it and come up with the best solution. Great, and so what I'm gonna do is throw in to chat uh, the, uh, some of the remodeling and universal design experts that we're working with, some of them are on the call is Melissa, she's an OT and involved in, in Handy Pro. Um, and, um, and then if this is something that you're interested in, then, um, you know, uh, they can work with Eve to, to get that insulation done. So uh, that's, uh, um, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, uh, we have a question, and I like this one here. Joan asks, do you have anything available for bringing down an upper closet shelf with heavy items such as books? Not as a stand, like right now, um, you know what, the Diego can do that. The, 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 come to think of it, because yesterday when we were just asked, uh to to bring something like over an oven and down right mm -hmm. so uh, how high is this i is this item um let's see uh joan if you are responding let us give us an idea of the height of it but yeah i guess when i see that diego your demo of it that could be in any cabinetry it's you know moving it up and down I'm assuming yeah. you can um, adjust the the shelves, the height of the shelves too, as well. Yeah, like the, the thing with the Verde is some people use the Verde to bring down the microwave mm -hmm. on a vertical motion and uh, even the Diego. So yes, it, it can be done uh, depending on how many books. I think the payload on the Verde is 86 pounds. And then uh, the Diego is a little bit more because the Diego, it's a lift system that you actually attach a whole cabinet to it. So it, here's something we can do. Let's go back to the Verde and the Diego so we can actually look at the lift system itself. Okay. So, um, and, and I think she said that she's got nine foot ceilings. Um, yeah. But, okay. So now this well, is... Hit lifting systems. You see the little tab there, you see general info lifting system. You see that on the left? Oh, no. uh, hey, oh, left. The lifting yeah. system. Okay, here we go. Right so, this is what the lifting system of the Diego looks like. So, you have a cabinet. You actually put the cabinet onto this unit, you screw it onto it. So, you have either a single or a double, but this is what it looks like. So the, um, you know, the cabinet maker just takes the whole cabinet and fastens it to the lift system. This lift system is like 4.75 inches deep once it's retracted. So it will protrude from the wall. So what they do is they make the cabinets like say 15 inches deep and then this, uh, the, ca the cabinets beside it are deeper. And then this one here, you can have the cabinet retract and everything is flush on the front. Okay, yeah. And then let's see here. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's, let's see it in action. And now I think this is gonna make a lot more sense when we, there, yeah. we see it. Yeah, so the other one, the, just the shelves come down, this is that entire cabinet. So something like that could potentially be a, like a uh, cabinetry that had books or something in somebody's uh, kitchen or library or some in their bedroom or library. Exactly, exactly. 
Um, let's see. I wonder if using this technology for the microwave oven and or stove may be the most valuable way to use the tech. I saw that great earlier video of the young lady in the wheelchair. Do you have more pics or videos of using the tech for cooking? Um, I, I don't know if you gave me any. I think that's the only one that I saw, but this video that we just saw here, you know, is pretty impressive uh, as far as I'm concerned in terms of, you know, imagine like a small child being able to use the um, the microwave instead of asking mom and dad. And then the other thing, I imagine like that this top sh uh, shelf here could be uh, a countertop, like this top drawer, so that you could pull out whatever's in the microwave and put it on top of that. 100%. If you, uh, Granberg has a YouTube channel and it has all sorts of application, all sorts. And let's see, that's yours. Uh, here, this one, Granberg interior. Yep. Yeah. So, I, and folks, I'm going to make sure to share so, all of these so, links here. Yeah. Hit the videos. Right, hit the, the tab vid videos. You have home. No, no, yeah, videos. Yeah. Oh, no, that's my videos. Uh, this would be, this is videos here. Okay, there. So those are all the Grandberg videos. So you have the young, if you keep going down, you'll see the young lady in the wheelchair that we just looked at. Um, in terms of cooking, if you keep on going down. Oh, look at that. A baby changing table. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, they, they talk about a great commercial application. You know, uh, you got to have a pretty high end customer to do that in your house. But I can just imagine some great applications for a commercial with that one. So if you keep on going, now you're seeing the actual uh, you know, cooking videos. Um, and then if you keep going down, you can what they have is some videos where you know, lady had a problem and they took care of it with the uh, Grandberg problem and solution for wall cabinets for the lady. So, uh, so this, let me click on this one. I, folks, this is sort of experimental here, but um, I see a washing machine um, and I'm wondering what the application looks like here. Um, you don't have to pay a penny for oops. Uh, we got a commercial. Yeah, got the ad. Okay, so let's see what this... Oh, this says coat lift. Ah, oh, okay. This is a little bit different, yeah. Yeah, but you know, we hadn't seen <laughs> a, a true it's demo cool. yeah. of it's the coat cool. lift. Yeah. And that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, extremely cool, yeah. That comes down, like the stroke is, is very big on this, which is pretty impressive. And then she can uh, get her get her clothes. And man, what a what what a wonderful way to promote independence uh, yeah. for somebody. But um, yeah, but but you can see where. Okay, and then that's the controller that that sends it back. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Joan asks, do these need to be anchored to wall studs? Uh no, actually, if you look at the instructions, I think they just, they're just using plugs, right? Because of the payload is like 10 kilograms. Well, I imagine the this thing- one here, This one here is in a closet, as you can see, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. I think she was talking about the, um, I, 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 can, I, I can guarantee the, oh, the cabinet of the whole cabinet. That yeah, yeah. The sure. the studs. So the, yeah, the actual Verdi, it actually, because the cabinet is anchored already in the wall, you can screw the Verde right into the actual, the old cabinet, right? Because that's anchored. So that's not a problem. But when it comes to the, uh, the lift system, the Diego, yes. And they show on the insulation instructions, they can, it shows where to put it, like where you should have the studs and the anchors and where to screw uh how to anchor it properly in the wall and in the studs so the yes she is right on the diego 
100%. Um, and uh, Ruth, I, I was waiting for this uh, question too, Ruth. What happens during a power outage? Just doesn't move. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Then you go back to the old way of, uh, of yeah, you got to go back to what we're all dealing with right now. <laughs> yeah, it, it just um, stays in but, but out of curiosity on that, like on the coat lift, you know, the one that we just saw, it, something like that, I could potentially see there perhaps could be a manual way or no. No, not not with these units. It's all geared, right? It's all. Uh, yeah it's all geared so it just stops whatever okay. position it's in yeah man uh this is this is so awesome eve um when i saw this like yeah i look at this and and, and unfortunately it was too late for my parents uh they, they moved in uh, they were pretty sick but uh could have done their homes with this if i would have known earlier right and mom would have fallen off the step stool and so on so um, yeah, just one of those things that, okay, now we have the products and we're trying to make as much headway as we can, you know, help as many people as we can. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Time, right? Um, the, uh, and, and Ryan says, I've been watching and I finally joined, I'm in a safe and accessible home and will also be a dealer for Grandberg. I, um, uh, will have this on my site, my site soon. That's awesome, Ryan. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, I think, the more that we get the word out that this is an option um, th that doesn't need full-on custom fabrication, uh, you, you know, I, I can see, I guarantee there's people out there, like you said, the, that somebody installed their, their TV that retracts into, the, um, into a cabinet and they're like, hey, can you do this for my, my cabinetry? And they're probably spending 10 times the prices that you were talking uh, to do that and not having something that is proven to be safe, which in you don't really think about this as how important safety is. Um, let's see, Pretty says, do you have a list of recommended contractors and installers who you've worked with Grandberg in the States? And no, we, we don't. Like this is so new. It, a lot of them, and myself included. I mean, this has only been going on for like a year and some, and it, it's all, uh, you know, first time around. So, so we're all learning, and, and we're pretty lucky that Grandberg has really good installation videos, and and a lot of the people, like a lot of the cabinet makers and so on, they're, they're very mechanically inclined. They're very used to tools and how stuff works. So it's yeah, they, it, it's pretty straightforward for them. I mean, these guys are, uh, guys, girls are good, right? So, so. pretty, uh, forgive the pun, it's pretty straightforward. But the um, uh, pretty, if you either send me an email or type a message in there, um, what geographic region you are located in. Um, if you're in the mid-Atlantic, we definitely have some resources for you that would be not only capable of installing this, but also as opposed to just a general contractor that's not aware of inclusiveness and accessibility issues that they um, could perhaps also take it a step above with other improvements in, yeah. in the home that you're, you're talking about. Um, the, um, uh, the, let's see, uh, some, someone says because of the possible power outage, and long period of power outage, one should always have some regular ADA mechanical uh, to keep them accessible. Yeah, I mean, I, I, this is yeah, the way that I look at this, um, Eve, is, is that in if we have a wheel and, and the wheel represents having a safe and accessible home, these height adjustable features are one spoke in that wheel. And, and it's not, a, it's not a fixed for anything, for everything, but it is a way for people to be very, um, uh, to have a very thoughtful and inclusive environment. Um, let's see, the, um, uh, Pretty says I'm in the DC area. Pretty, we've got, I'm sending you a link of uh, some of the positive aging community champions and, uh, I know Lewis and um, and Melissa are on the uh, on this call, 
and would be more than happy to brainstorm with you if if this is something that you're looking at to install. Um, also, let's see, uh, Ryan says, any suggestions on finding companies or specialists who help individuals and organizations with the funding sources? Yeah, um, uh, uh, Eve, you had talked about the funding sources. Are you sort of, I can see you sort of creating a clearinghouse of information as you discover these. Yeah, we have like, Right now, I'm starting in Canada. We have some people that we deal with in Canada. There's a couple of people that I've been talking to the, for the states. And some of the Canadians do have contacts in the states. We're having a meeting uh, in a couple of weeks. So they'll be sharing that with me. But right now, I don't have anyone. Uh, Whoops. Oh, are you okay? Are we okay? I can't hear you. If you can hear me. I can hear you. Okay. Steve? Sorry, I got this thing on my computer that just oh. went off. Okay. Okay. Can't. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> it's uh I gotta make sure that I mute certain speakers on my computer. But um, well, um, Eve, no surprise. Uh, we burned through uh, an hour yeah. very quickly. Yeah. Um, in closing, one one question that I have is your um, some of these commercial applications. Uh, I would love to um, like you had mentioned the community center and you had mentioned Hilton hotels. Where are you installing these in in Hilton hotels? Accessible be uh, bedrooms. <laughs> I. Awesome. Yeah. I, you, yeah, you know, um, out of three, 386 rooms, I think they have 20 or 30 of them that are accessible. So we're, we're, we're still talking, they're doing the renovation and it's still ongoing right now, but yeah. Uh, accessible but, bedrooms and then uh, retirement, the retirement homes. Some of them, uh, they have two cabinets, everything comes down in retirement centers, uh, you know, community centers, training kitchens, hospitals, uh, schools. So oh, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, everybody will be, it's all inclusive, you know, love it. no, no one's left behind. So everybody gets to enjoy cooking together, working together. So it's, uh, it's awesome. Awesome. This is great. Um, Eve, I'm going to drop your email into chat. And oh yeah, that, please I'm, contact me anytime. Follow I'm going to tell you, me. this was a fantastic way to end the week. Uh, I yeah. think that this uh, discussion and the recording of this discussion will hopefully help many people um, yeah. understand that there's a choice. And uh, I really feel like, I, man, I'll tell you, if we start seeing these in public spaces and hotel rooms, like if you happen to check into a hotel room and it has some of these features, I can't see how many people aren't going to be like, wow, I got to get this installed in my house. I think that'll be a great way to spread the word. Yeah, absolutely. You know, everybody should stay safe, get off the step stool, avoid long-term care facilities. You know, a lot of people are uh, want to stay in their home. And one lady said, you know what, I'm redoing my whole house because this is my last stop. <laughs> you know, they're taking me out of here in a pine box. I'm like, whoa. So that's, uh, you know, and, and then you do a renovation and it, the renovation is paid for, increases the value of your property and absolutely you stay in your home, in your neighborhood and you're, you know, with everybody you love. So it's, uh, it's, it's very cool. Uh, it's cool. You know, we're having a good time here. Thank you. All right. Everybody really liked this today. So uh, Eve, uh, I look forward to, to doing this again. Uh, feel free to reach out if there's new developments or anything like that. And folks, I'll make sure to get this uh, all dropped in uh, and recorded with lots of contact information. And um, uh, and hey, if you're on this call and a year from now you end up having some of this stuff installed, uh, let us know. You know that would be one thing, Eva. As a follow up to this, if you ever have any clients that have done an installation and would be willing to let us kind of come in and look at, at it and uh, and have a Q&A. We did a discussion with another Canadian not too long ago, Julie Sawchuk, 
yeah, we, no, we got connected yeah. with her. I mean, she gave us a tour of her home and it was I brilliant. Saw and saw um, uh, so keep that in, on your radar because uh, I think that would be a great follow-up is to see somebody's home and have them share with us how beneficial these uh, these features are. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. All okay. right. All talk right. To, talk to you all soon. Everybody have, hey, you're still there, Amy. Of course, I'm sitting here listening. Oh, this I, didn't know had, I didn't know if you had patience or anything. Oh, not yet. Anyways, I got to I gotta run because I got a call. Uh, everybody have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you.